Welcome to End of the Road Festival. We are here on day two with Nadine Shah. Hello, how are you doing? I'm all right, thank you. How long have you been here? I got here yesterday. Mm -hmm. So I'm, there's a bit of me that's like kind of hanging on by a thread. Okay. <laughs> and this is the day you perform as well? Yeah, yeah. So what did you get up to yesterday? Who did you see? Um, who did I see yesterday? <laughs> oh, there was this performer who headlined, I don't know her surname, which was called Lucinda. Lucinda Williams on this stage here, on the garden stage. She was, I'd never heard of her prior to that performance. Uh -huh. And it was honestly, it was like one of the most inspiring things I've ever seen. Because in like an industry which is like mainly dominated by males, mm -hmm. and we, it, there's, it's quite rare to hear an older woman's mm -hmm. voice. And we've got, what, Patti Smith? Yeah. And she's up there with Patti Smith, and it was just like me and my friends cried a lot this weekend. <gasps> oh, it's been emotional already. <laughs> I were crying like, this is really beautiful, isn't it? This is beautiful. <laughs> You're talking about how good it is to see an inspirational older woman. There's a lot of talk this year and for the past few years actually that there's not enough female headliners at music festivals. Mm -hmm. how, how are you feeling? Yeah. What can we do to shake this up? I mean, there's little things that are being done at the minute. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what his name is, but he's part of, I think it's Festival Republic mm -hmm. that run like Leeds and Reading in that. Yeah. I um, can't remember his name. Melvin. Melvin, ben. that's it. Melvin. I went to this like, uh, this kind of uh, music forum thing. Mm -hmm. And he was speaking at that, and he was saying they're making a conscious effort. I mean, it's like, a bit of me feels like it's a bit too little too late, <laughs> Melvin. But at the same time, I'm so glad yeah. that he's finally recognising mm -hmm. it and doing something about it. So actually good on him. Yeah. But he's making a conscious effort to make sure that there are more female artists on lineups. Uh -huh. Because, I mean, out of my friend circle of loads of musicians, yeah. it's pretty 50-50 with, right, me, with okay. men and women. And so many of my favourite artists are, mm -hmm. are female-fronted bands and... It just seems a bit archaic and weird, yeah. you know, but I think it's changing. The tide hope. is turning. Uh, well, we I hope. hope so. So who would headline your dream festival then? My dream festival? Yeah. Oish. I mean, <laughs> like, can they be, can they be deceased? Yeah, I mean, it's your dream festival. Oh, yeah. okay, it's my dream. They can be well dead. Okay, it's like a co-headline. Cool okay. So on one night, it's yeah. Nina Simone headlining. Ooh. And then the next night is Scott Walker. Great. <sighs> That's going to be a good festival if you get to raise Nina Simone. Oh my goodness. Somehow. I just, I love her. So what else are you up to this weekend? You're playing this afternoon mm -hmm. and then what? Where are you? Who are you going to see? Is there anyone you're really excited about seeing today? It's actually, it's the only festival that I've spent time at this year. Okay. I'm, I'm normally just in and out at yeah. festivals, but this one, I really like. Mm -hmm. um, so I've already watched a few things. On After Me today is um, the Lemon Twigs. <gasps> Good band. And I love, I want to adopt them. <laughs> like, We'll try and find them and see if they're up for it. Oh, I, I know that in the dressing room next to me. I okay. know where they are. All right. You've already put in your request. Oh my great. Adoption great. forms Adoption. filled in. But they're, they're, they're a really great mm. live band yeah. to watch. Like, it's so fun to watch them play. I love them. Uh, them. Bill Callahan. <gasps> Love, <sighs> lovely Mr. Smog. Yeah, and he's so like nice. one of my favourite <laughs> miserable artists going. And, and the weather's going to be miserable tomorrow as well. So that will... Oh. That'll see you just down perfect. <laughs> Pissing down with rain and Bill Callahan singing sad songs. Amazing. What more could you want? That'll disguise my tears, the rain. So this is you said this is one of the only festivals you're spending some proper time at. What sets this festival apart? What makes it different? And why do you want to stay here rather than the other ones? Oh, the, a lot of reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also like the behind the scenes that I've noticed. I've always thought that this one's ran very efficiently. Mm -hmm. And as an artist, it's always been really enjoyable because yeah. everything's organized well. Uh -huh. and so just, slick. <laughs> but I think that I'm not being sexist, I'm sorry. <laughs> But there are so many women working at this festival. Okay. So many women. Yeah. And they're just like they've just got it nailed. I think it's a multitasking thing. Yeah. Isn't it? I mean, that's it's a delight to see so many women mm -hmm. working behind the scenes as crew and uh, you know press organisation. Everyone. There's yeah. so many great women working at this festival, and I, and I love that because it's a lot of festivals in the music industry are very heavily male dominated, mm -hmm. and it's nice. There's a much better balance here. Definitely. Uh, also, just the size of the festival. Uh -huh. I can like make a plan of what I want to do on mm -hmm. the day and actually see the artists, yeah. which is rare for a lot of festivals. But yeah, and also the peacocks. There's peacocks wandering around. There we are sort of want them peacocks. to come into the shop, but I don't, nah. I don't think you can tell them what to do. No. They're doing their own thing. Um, also here, there's there's a healing field. Are you going to get healed this weekend? Oh, <laughs> see, not into healing. I've lost a lot of good friends to yoga <laughs> and alternative therapies. You're staying well clear. Will you be in the karaoke <laughs> stage instead? I am going to the karaoke stage. What's your karaoke song? What's your go-to karaoke Tina song? Tina Turner, Private Dancer. Do, I, do you dance as well? Is it a oh whole yeah. full, as a full experience? It's, I think there's a rule. 
if you're a professional singer, mm-hmm. you're kind of not allowed to do karaoke yeah. unless you do an impersonation. Oh, I think things that's are the rules. right. I think that's how it should Good be. Otherwise, it's just kind of showboating. Mm-hmm. But if you do a wicked impersonation, okay. I think you're fine. So I'd either do Tina Turner or Heather Smalls M people. Oh, yeah. One Night in Heaven. Oh, yeah, yeah, probably, probably. Nice. Okay, I'll come find you later <laughs> for some of that. Um, the, the new album Holiday Destination just came out. What's the reaction been like? Yeah, it's been really positive. Yeah. I think it was something that I was kind of very anxious about mm-hmm. before releasing it. I think any work where there's a political rhetoric yeah. present, you always worry about well, dividing your audience. Mm-hmm. Um, I was really worried about coming across as opportunistic, you know, okay. and and of course I'm not. And there's so many artists that are making great political music mm-hmm. at the minute who haven't previously, I mean, like Maximo Park, Ghost Poet, She Makes War, loads of great bands. Yeah. And it's nice to be amongst uh-huh. like my peers who are doing the same thing. It feels less terrifying, mm. but yeah, the response so far has been, it's been really like heartwarming actually. And there's some really kind of heavy themes on the album. What makes you feel compelled to make political music rather than just a couple of, you know, love songs like many people yeah, <laughs> do? Well, I, think, I think like it's almost like an artist's duty mm-hmm. to document the times that they live in. But at the same time, I think there is there is still a place for love songs mm. or songs that are just going to make you dance. But um, I forget the question. Why did I make <laughs> Compelled it? to make political music. Why? <laughs> well, it's, uh, I always go off on a tangent. It's going to happen. I always go off on a tangerine. Um, <laughs> well, it was, it was kind of impossible to write about anything else, yeah. really, when, like, front page news and all over social media mm. are these harrowing images of what are happening to people all over the world. Like yeah. I know I speak a lot about the refugee crisis mm-hmm. and in particular in Syria, but there's actually, there's refugees all over the world, like mm. Eritrea, Sudan, Afghanistan, all over the world. And it's like, it, it's, it's terribly saddening. But I think, especially now that it's, especially the refugee crisis, it's not front page news anymore. Mm. So I'm glad that there are other artists and I'm glad that my album's out now. Um, that we can bring the subject up again to the forefront of people's minds yeah. and saying, actually, you know what, it's not front page news anymore, but it's still happening. Mm-hmm. These people are still making that treacherous yeah. journey across the sea and risking their lives. All these people are still displaced and need a home. Mm-hmm. And so we're, we're there to just kind of, to remind people yeah. again and to, and to tell these people's stories. You kind of, what I'm trying to do is play a tiny, tiny part in mm. humanizing the dehumanized, yeah. you know? Um, I mean, I wish, my album wasn't relevant anymore, honestly, hand on heart, and that I had to go and write an album about my rubbish love life. <laughs> but unfortunately, it's more relevant than ever, yeah. I guess. And will the set today be leaning heavily on the new album? Are you gonna mix yeah. it up a bit? Yeah, it's, it's predominantly the new album. Mm-hmm. There'll be like, I think maybe one or two of the old ones. Yeah. But, and even with the old ones, we've kind of reworked them so that they fit in sonically oh, with the new set. Okay. Interesting. Well, I'll come and check it out then. Just loads of saxophone. <laughs> <laughs> love a bit of sax. Um, thank you very much. Have an excellent rest of your festival. Thank you. Cheers. And you. Cheers, love. Thank you.